Hello guys, welcome to Godzilla's Kaiju Lounge. I don't know what I'm gonna call this video, but one of my subscribers, Alyssa Goji Geek, commented how these trailers are turning people into kids again, and it's true. If you look at especially this most recent trailer, the final trailer, but the first two, you're guaranteed to find grown men, grown women, cheering like children. I'm normally more quiet and reserved and when I'm reacting to these, I'm like, Trodan! Godzilla! Look at Mothra! Look how huge Ghidorah is! And it's true, it just captures that childlike feeling of wonder and you look and you can see the love and just care that went into this movie. Listen to the Bear McCreary music, his version of the Godzilla March, the just recently released old Rivals that has notes from Akira Ikafube's music, his remix of the Blue Oyster Cult Godzilla song. This film is done with such love and appreciation to the fans. I get the sense that so many people behind the scenes are big Godzilla fans, and they are just working so hard to give us the movie that many of us have been waiting our whole lives to see. When I watched this last trailer, I felt like the six-year-old kid who would watch Godzilla movies and set up VHS tape cities in his living room and destroy the cities while watching the movie with my Godzilla toys. That's what this movie brings me back to, and I can tell the reactions with the people watching the trailers who are real Godzilla fans, it brings them back to that too. There's a, it's such a true childlike sense of joy I get when I watch these trailers. I mean, when I first watched the final trailer, I had tears in my eyes, and appropriately that it was to Somewhere Over the Rainbow, a beautiful song that's about dreams, and so appropriate because this movie is a dream come true, but it also, when you put it over these action sequences, it kind of allows your mind to take it in in a slower way and absorb the details, unlike if you had a pulse-pounding, adrenaline-pumping piece of music where you just be, yeah, you're more being calmed by the music as you're being fed these incredible and sometimes apocalyptic images. And... Like I said, yeah, this film is a dream come true. I remember right before th my last year in grade school was when Godzilla 98 came out. Zilla, whatever you want to call it. I remember thinking, oh, I really want this movie to do well. I want the next film to have Rodan, Mothra, and King Ghidorah in it. I want to see something happen with them. And the movie did not do well. It was not very good. And me and I'm sure a lot of other fans that saw that just wrote it off as we'll never get that. 2014 comes along and despite whether you did or didn't like that movie, I like it but it has plenty of issues. It was a step in the right direction. It gave Godzilla more legitimacy, and it made enough money to get sequels greenlit, one of which is this, and they actually delivered on what that pre-middle school me wanted to see out of an American Godzilla film. And it's, it's a beautiful thing. They've... And I haven't even seen the movie, and I absolutely love this movie already. This is the most hyped I've ever been. But it's just a beautiful thing to see 
the love for the fans that is going into this movie. And next year, we get King Kong vs. Godzilla, which is something else we never thought we'd see. As much as I prefer practical over CGI effects, just when I think of what they can do with a full Kong vs. Godzilla in CGI, that's another dream come true. And there's lyrics, again, so appropriate to Somewhere Over the Rainbow for the final trailer, that there's lyrics about dreams in that. It's almost like they're saying with this trailer, this is for you. We know what you guys wanted to see because we're fans and we wanted to see it. Everything I see is an indication that this is such a love letter to the fans. I can't speak for anyone else, but I know when I go to see this in the theater, there's going to be moments where tears are going to be running down my eyes. <clears throat> Yesterday I went to see Avengers Endgame and the manager before the film started actually gave a little speech also signifying yeah we're sold out so get friendly with your neighbors and he's like enjoy this film is a dream film. I've been waiting 40 years of my life for a film like this and I was just there, I'm like, thinking that's going to be me next month seeing Godzilla King of the Monsters. And all I can say to everyone from the, com the director, Michael Doherty, the composer, Bear McCarthy, assistant directors, people working on the special effects, actors, and everyone that just put a lot of passion into this movie that I have still yet to see... You have made me feel like a little kid again. And if you can make a soon-to-be 33-year-old, cynical, overweight, just disappointed at life at times, man, just feel like a six-year-old kid again, thank you from the bottom of my heart. This movie is really going to be something special. This is probably has this has the potential to be the single best theater going experience of my life and I am just going to be there big smile on my face, tears rolling down my eyes, taking in every second of this masterpiece that you are giving us. And if the cinematography I've seen in the trailer is any indication, this film better, at the very least, get nominated for Best Cinematography because the cinematography we have all seen so far has been breathtaking. If... Black Panther, not knocking the movie, can get nominated for Best Picture. At the very least, Godzilla King of the Monsters can get nominated for Best Cinematography because look at the trailers. It already deserves it. So what are your thoughts? Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, over and out.